Stepping up is John Birdie. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one. The second base. Chris Paddock John. is on to pitch from the bullpen Bird. now to start Ladies inning number seven. Your attention, please. Now Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Hard liner but picked up on a hop and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Next to stand in is Connor Scott singled in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Bases are empty one man out. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. And a half swing here but this is in there for a called strike two. The one and two pitch. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Harper. He gets there and that's the second out. Next up Brian Anderson. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the first pitch. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. That one's in there on the black two and one. Two out, nobody on. Three and one. A three one count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3 1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Miami down in order. They trail it here 6 to 4. Last half of the seventh here, and next will be the speedy catcher, JT Real Muto. JT First delivery to him. Popped up. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Now at the plate, Chris Paddock. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. He's set and the pitch. Not even close on that swing. No balls in a strike. And he falls behind 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. To the plate now, Willie Castro, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Nothing in one count, here it comes.
ripped on the ground to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. Eighth inning coming up. Philadelphia is out in front here, six to four. Didi Gregorius will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. The windup and the 0-1. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Fouled off. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. A breaking ball swung on and missed and he set down for the second time this afternoon. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot and by the time it got there it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate Garrett Cooper. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner it's 0 and 1. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh and one count and the pitch timing just to tick off there is this one's fouled off to the right bases are empty one man out and he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt but he'll hold back here it's one and two ball two the two two is looked at and the count moves full. Boy went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2 started nipping at the corners and the next thing you know this count stands at 3 and 2. Pitch on the way. He loses him on ball four. Well he gives up the walk but that was a really good pitch might have been just out of the zone but not by much a lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you standing in now Jorge Alfaro as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half it's 0 and 1 he's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 0 1 pitch. These are the moments that don't always show up on the highlight film right here. Big spot. They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in a knock. They have a chance to get right back in this game. If not, if he grounds into a double play, it's pretty much over. Count even at 2 and 2 to the Marlins catcher. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion three two count you send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. Grounded weakly toward third fielded cleanly throw gets him two down. Next up is Jairo Munoz. He's working on a one for three thus far. Diego Castillo enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. First pitch on the way bounced weakly near the plate that rolls foul for strike one Cooper stands at second with two gone fastball called for strike two 
on 0 2 here. He doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open. So he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. To 1 and 2 now. Has a look. Now the pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. He went with the off speed there once he got up to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. The 2 2. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Uh, he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay 2 and 2. Again, another foul ball. High in the air out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. One left for Miami. Score remains steady at six to four. Bounce it, just bounce it. Everybody wanna come, I'm announcing it. I'm always gonna get it, I'm always gonna. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Adam Simber is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Mike Zanino is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. He's set. Here it comes. Joaquin Dias stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four-seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's a base hit, so a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Okay, look at this guy compete right there. Nice base hit. Are you kidding me? He had already had the hat track. He was staring the golden sombrero straight in the face, and he said, no. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Pitch outside. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. The 1 0 is a ball below the zone. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Runner goes for third. Swing hard liner to left center. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Throw into second, but he'll get in there with an RBI double. Hey, d -Roll, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt as an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run push and has to make you feel good. Here's Bryce Harper now. And she'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. For his career in this matchup, he's collected 11 hits in 25 tries. He's taken him deep once. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Simber has registered more than 80 innings of work and has an ERA he'd like to see come down a bit. Starts the day in the high fours. Working for the punch out and the offering. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. And it's fouled away. Now another one two. 
And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He's driven in four already and yet another big RBI opportunity for him right here. Matt, they couldn't have asked for anyone to hit better in this spot than this guy right here. He looks dialed in at the plate right now. Gene Story will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. First pitch of the AB on its way. He'll start this one at 269. 13 home runs, 26 RBIs. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Cooper trying to get there. Fouled away. Runner at second here with one man out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box, Javier Baez, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Alec Bohm will look to provide a little two out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Comes set and the 0 1. Swung on and lifted into shallow center field. Birdie onto the grass. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Been a long time coming. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Last chance coming up here for the Marlins. It's now a 7-4 ball game. Gene Story will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Alec Bohm remains in the game playing third after entering the game as a pinch hitter in the previous half inning. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring forth the rookie outfielder, Ferrar Encarnacion. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0 home. Misses ball two. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but 
Then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Mike Zanino comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. The batting average down in the low two tens. Eight home runs, and he's driven in 24. And this one's too far inside, ball two. One out, nobody on. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Roberto Ozuna gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. In now, John Birdie. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. He's got it, and the Phillies have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. 7-4 the final finish today. Philadelphia took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Zach Plezak records win number 16 on the season. Sandy Alcantara struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew,